help you understand how uh, we selected Panduit, that was not a single person or a couple of people making that decision. We actually had a very large group. We had uh, three folks that began the process, myself, uh, our CTO, and our director of infrastructure. The three of us started looking at where we wanted to be innovative in our data center. Our goal was to build the data center of the future. And so those three, the three of us, began that, that, that course and we started bringing in many of our groups, our infrastructure groups, uh, our networking groups, our security groups, a lot of the folks that are involved in the data center. And we brought those together and we took them to Chicago with us to a, a briefing and we wanted them to see the product lines, to talk through. So this was really a group effort that we looked at uh, the products, how they fit into our data center, where we're wanting to go. We built this data center to take us out another 30 to 50 years. And so we wanted it to be the data center of the future and we involved a whole mass. There was probably more than 40 or 50 folks involved in the decision of the components that we selected for this data center. So, so our expectation of our second data center was uh, with our third party, we were only able to test our recovery test once, twice a year. Now that we have our own facility, we're moving to where we can have active systems. One system fails, the other system takes over. We're not there yet. But what we have been able to do is bring that in-house so that now we can build those systems and we can test them whenever we would like. It, it allows us the flexibility to begin to move in a direction for resiliency that we have not yet been able to achieve. And so that's our future of this data center is to do those type things where we put our systems in and if one system fails at our primary data center, the secondary data center picks up the load. And in some cases, shares the load between both data centers. So that's where the benefit to the company is. So the, the reason we selected the data center infrastructure manager system was that we have never been able to monitor and manage our environments. In the past, in a traditional data center, you build a data center with two power sources. And you really don't have to balance the, the power load. In our new data center, we built a tri-bus system, which means that you have to balance each of the loads coming across in your data center. So immediately we needed a tool that could do that for us. Additionally, we've never really been able to monitor our temperatures within the cabinets. Yes, you can monitor them at the server level in the servers themselves, but we wanted more information. As any company, we're, we're now becoming more analytical that we want a lot of data to be able to analyze. And so we're analyzing data in a fashion now in our data centers from a power consumption, from our uh, cooling consumption, so that we can, our ultimate goal is to drive the needle down on the power uh, uh, consumption and to reduce our, our electric bill. We're an electric company, but we have to pay an electric bill. And so our goal is to drive that needle down so that we can reduce power costs. And how we do that is begin to understand what our systems are doing. An example to that is we can take and begin to raise the temperature of our computer rooms because of the way we're now cooling them and exhausting the hot air. It allows us to raise that temperature and drop that power consumption. to center point energy by selecting DCIM was that it is now providing us the information that we've never seen before. An example to this is that we have uh, two instances where we have actually seen um, things fail, uh, both in our new data center uh, from a humidity control perspective and from a new center that we have built for our gas operations. Both of those provided us information that had we not attended to it or been alerted to it, it could have gone on and caused problems within our infrastructure. 
Uh, for our uh, main data center, it could have been an issue around humidity and the high humidity uh, in uh, being in the south, we have high humidity. This, this could have impacted our equipment severely. We were able to alert and correct that situation with our facilities team, very fast approach. On the other side, we actually came across a piece of, uh, of a new building that was built that, that actually wasn't quite built the way we expected it to be built to house our uh, equipment that we use for computing. And, and what could have happened there had we not gotten alerted and, commu and communicated in a timely manner was the impact would have been we would have lost that equipment and had to replace that equipment, which was a financial uh, uh, piece for the company because we do put quite a bit of equipment for our, our sites and that would have been a financial impact to that location to have to have provided uh, new equipment back into that site shortly after it was already installed for that new site. So that's what the impact of the company is. We're starting to be able to make sure we are averting additional cost uh, in those uh, areas that uh, traditionally you could have an impact and it could cost you uh, funds uh, to, to replace that equipment. So evaluation of DCIM, evaluation for that product was very tough for us. We had many major vendors that already worked with Centerpoint Energy that had a similar product. What we wanted to do was take a new approach. We wanted that to be a total integrated product. What you first have to decide when you're looking at DCIM, do you want a product that you're gonna manage the vendors on either side of that? Or do you want an integrated product that you're gonna be able to hold one vendor accountable for both the hardware and the software portion of this? There's a lot of good software in DCIM, and uh, there, some of the vendors have actually some better products than, than Panduit. But when it comes to integration, this is where Panduit shines. You can integrate the products in a more easily fashion. When things change on version levels, uh, they're integrated already into Panda SDSAC. When you select another vendors, you're going to have to manage that version control between the hardware and the software. So take a look. You need to look at both. You have to determine what you're willing to support um, and, and in some cases you have to offer that you're going to take in some cases a little less functionality in order to have that capability uh, that you would like as a single integrated system.